Hello, and welcome to Home Ownership, Section 4, Lesson 2, Answering Research Questions. Today you will share your research and thesis statements. You will continue your research and answer the research questions on your handout. Before we begin this lesson, let's look again at our culminating writing task prompt. Through reading of the unit text and additional research, you will develop an argument in response to the unit question, is the dream of home ownership viable for all Americans within a more focused subtopic area? Using information from your reading, you will develop an argumentative thesis supported by a series of evidence-based claims, including at least one counter-argument to an opposing perspective or position. You will organize your thesis, claims, and evidence into a unified, coherent, well-reasoned argument that addresses a specific purpose and audience. Here are our learning targets for this lesson. Can you research a claim about a subtopic relating to housing in America? Can you research a subtopic? For this lesson, you will need your reading response journal, the article Five Facts About Millennial Households, and your culminating task tool posted back in Lesson 1-1. Now you're going to read your partner's work and then ask yourself the questions. You will need to make any necessary revisions to the development and support of your own work as well. Does my partner sufficiently develop and support the response in a fair and even manner with supporting claims and evidence, explanations, and elaboration? Does my partner incorporate evidence or information from a variety of credible sources? Your work should sufficiently develop and support a position in a fair and even manner with supporting claims and evidence, explanations, and elaboration. You will have, let's look at some other things you're going to look for with your partner's work. Is the evidence provided useful? In other words, is it relevant, accurate, and credible? Does your partner correctly cite the evidence? And does your partner integrate evidence effectively? You will have 15 minutes for each of you to look over your partner's work and make any necessary revisions based on what your partner says. Now you're going to conduct research to gather additional evidence in preparation for creating your work. You will develop a work plan for conducting research so that you are able to meet the established deadlines. You will develop a system for gathering information, recording notes, documenting your information, and keeping track of and maintaining your work as you conduct research. You will need to locate possible sources for your research, evaluate the sources, and select the sources you will use for your research. In your reading response journal, you will need to document the sources you locate so that you know which sources you have considered. Record notes and comments as you evaluate the sources. And create a bibliographic entry for each source you select. Remember, you need to evaluate the sources for their usefulness. Using the provided research materials, you will conduct research to gather additional evidence to support the supporting claims for your work. You will record your evidence and the appropriate citations on the culminating task tool. You will have 30 minutes to locate your sources, locate additional sources beyond the unit text, and conduct your research and take notes. Now you're going to read the thesis statement and answer the questions in your reading response journal. The thesis statement is, 
Millennials should aspire to achieve the traditional American dream of home ownership because it is the only way they can end the cycle of poverty, they can make changes in neighborhoods, and it will inspire government action. The questions that you will be answering are in your reading response journal. What is the writer's position? What is an alternate or opposing position? And what claims support each position? Remember that a claim that supports an alternate or opposing position is called a counterclaim. And when constructing an argument, it's important to acknowledge and address counterclaims to strengthen your own argument. Remember that the thesis statement is it written in response to the question, should you and members of Gen Z, in other words, the post-millennials, aspire to or reject the traditional American dream of homeownership? Why? You will have five minutes to answer these questions in your reading response journal. Now you're going to read points one and two from Five Facts About Millennial Households, and you will highlight evidence that supports the counterclaim. You will have five minutes to complete this activity. Now you will write a draft paragraph that addresses a counterclaim to strengthen the writer's argument for the position presented in the thesis statement. You will write a topic sentence which identifies a supporting claim and how it relates to the thesis statement. You will write one or two sentences to introduce a counterclaim and associated evidence and clarify how that counterclaim relates to the supporting claim. You will integrate the evidence through direct quotation or paraphrase. You will write three to four sentences that refute or weaken the counterclaim and evidence while supporting the claim of the paragraph. Remember that when you address counterclaims, you should use transitions which help clarify the relationships among the claims and counterclaims and the evidence. You will have 10 minutes to write this counterclaim paragraph. Congratulations, you have completed Section 4, Lesson 2 of the Home Ownership Unit. In this lesson, you researched a claim about a subtopic relating to housing in America. You also researched a subtopic.